Hello, hello everyone. Welcome into the channel. So at the time of recording this, City Skylines 2 has been out for just over a month. And I gotta be honest, it leaves a lot to be desired for a lot of folks. Especially those coming from City Skylines 1 with years and years of updates and thousands of mods and custom assets. While I personally am still very, very much enjoying the vanilla game as is, a lot of people are quite disappointed and again, while I'm enjoying it, I really do understand why some people are not so thrilled. And while the City Skylines team has promised we will have easily integrated mods through the PDX Mods platform, due to the state of the game currently, that functionality has been delayed with no specific timeline as to when that will be available. Per the latest word of the week, to which I'll leave a link in the description below, their focus naturally is on fixing the base state of the game before getting into any extras. So that means not only will the PDX mods functionality be delayed, and all that comes with it, such as the map editor and the asset editor and things like that, but all of the already announced DLCs will also be delayed. And again, there's no exact release window for when any of these things will come out. However, that has not stopped the modding community from moving forward and filling that void and answering the calls of the community for some much needed mods. Now. Before I get into a quick and simple tutorial of how to access these mods and get them in your game now, as well as find more information about mods that are in progress, I do have to preface this all with a bit of a disclaimer. As PDX mods will be the only official and more importantly supported mods, meaning full integration of any mods, support for any update to mods, and support should a mod mess with your game, any mods you get from anywhere else, you do so at your own risk. If it negatively impacts your game, breaks your saves, corrupts any files, or gets you a nasty computer virus, you'll be on your own. So again, proceed with caution. Though in this video, I will only be sharing sites and information I've acquired from reputable sources that I have also tried successfully myself without any issues. And with that out of the way, let's get on to the how. It's actually quite simple. First, you'll need to go to thunderstore.io. Once there, you'll click the get app button here to download the app to your computer. From there, just follow any on-screen instructions, give any permissions that need given, and then launch the app. From there, once you open it, you can search for any game. For example, we'll type in City Skylines and CS2 is the first one to show up. You can even set it as your default so you don't have to search it each time you go in. Once you've found the game, you can click Select Game and then Select Profile. And then this will take you to a homepage where you can see what mods you have downloaded and or enabled. From here, you can click on Get Mods on the left-hand side and it'll take you to this screen where you can see all the mods that are available on this platform for City Skylines 2. Once you find a mod that you like, hit the arrow to open up the menu where you can download it straight from here, or you can visit the mod's website for more details about it and download it from there as well. Specifically for City Skylines 2, at least at this moment, this very first mod listed, Bep and EX Pack, is required for any of the other mods to work. If you disable it, you'll get a warning that says if you disable it, all your other mods will be disabled as well. Unfortunately, I cannot be any more specific than that as I am not the most techie individual out there, but I did do this myself without any problems, so it really is just that simple. You can click download on any mods that you like and you're pretty much ready to go. The very last step is to launch the game, which is done through the Thunderstore app itself by clicking on modded up here in the top right corner. It will launch the game for you and your mods should be enabled just like that. If you want your mods to be in your game, you will need to launch it from the Thunderstore app each time. If you launch the game as usual through Steam, for example, the mods will not be enabled and may cause issues with your save game depending on which mods you had previously been playing with. If after a while you find you don't want a certain mod anymore, simply go to your homepage in Thunderstore and toggle whichever mods you do or do not want. And that's it. It's really that simple. Again, I am not a very techie person and I was able to do this and I didn't even have to Google anything. So it really is very, very simple you shouldn't have any problems. Now, as of right now, this is not the only place to find mods, but it is by far the simplest that I've found and the only one I personally have experience with. However, if you're interested in more than what Thunderstore has to offer, there are a few places you can find more mods, as well as keep up on mods that are in development and even suggest mods you'd like to see in the game directly to modders in the community. In the description below, I'll leave a link to two City Skylines 2 modding Discord servers. If you're really interested in getting more mods and want to be in the know about what's available when, I highly encourage you to check it out. And if you're familiar with mods and modders from CS1, you might even see some familiar names. But other than that, that is all I have for you today. 
I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you left a like below, maybe even subscribe to the channel if you'd like to keep up on more information and news about mods and all other things City Skylines. But for now, that is all I have for you. Thank you so, so much for watching, and happy modding, everybody!